University of Alabama. Welcome to the Quad Report. I'm Hunter Ludson here with J.D. Ingram. And we're here to bring you weekly news and notes from what's going on at the University of Alabama. Roll Tide! Roll Tide. That's right. Roll Tide. Well, Alabama. Here. Yes. Alabama picked Florida International. You know what I wanted to say. But, you know. I saw that one guy kick the other guy, but it was just like on accident. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what the you're talking about. They were, he caught the ball when he was running. He like kicked the guy that was on the ground and tripped. Oh, you're talking about Marcus Vick. Is that what you're talking about? That's not what I'm talking about. That was a long time ago. Somebody got kicked, that's all. Somebody. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get right into the game. It was a good game, I thought. Uh, it was a very good game. Offense showed up. Defense played good as usual. Uh, it's more on special teams. But, uh, overall, individual player achievement, I thought it was a lot better. Uh, I mean, coming off the Virginia Tech win, I was not impressed with it at all. But he impressed me this week with his uh, string of 14 complete passes. Overall. Which is the uh, Alabama record? That's the University of Alabama University of Alabama record. Alabama record. Uh, yep, Andrew's out and uh, JP held that record at 12 until last night. If you think of all the Alabama, 14. think of all the quarterbacks that's come before him, yeah. that's a very, very impressive record. Very Another player that I was impressed with was Trent Richardson. Oh my gosh, he was, if he keeps playing like that, he's going to be incredible. And, uh, I also want to send, send a welcome home note to uh, Terry Grant, who for the first time in two years showed up. Oh yeah. Welcome back, Terry. What's up? Welcome back. Um, any thoughts about the game? Anything you want to say? I thought our uh, secondary... Not a first string secondary. I don't, I don't know what string they were, but they did a very good job on uh, uh, protecting um, you know, the, the goal line. The end zone. <laughs> go, the the end end zone. zone. There you go. That's a good well, way. I mean, that's what they do. That's the job. Well, I mean, not a first string. They didn't do a very good job at all until his, his number was 23. I don't know his name. I'm, we'll trying, I'm sitting here trying to think of his name, and I can't think of it. But I know Kareem Jackson and number 27 got burnt two or three times last night until the second string and third string secondaries came in. Cornerbacks. And they, they didn't let anything get past them. And an uh, interesting fact is that uh, neither the first string nor first and second string offense or defense was on the field at the same time. Nick Saban's got it right. He's doing good. Doing good. Star Jackson get in the game a little bit last night. Uh, Way to hand up. Way to hand the ball off, buddy. It's the best I've ever seen him play here at the University of Alabama. No interceptions. That's it. Um, we can get on to a little bit of campus news. Uh, we got a couple of events coming up. Taking uh, back Sunday. CBS. Coleman Coliseum, 7 o'clock, Friday, Be there. the 18th. I'll see you there. I don't listen to that hippie music, but... It's, it's not good. hippie music. Dude, they're hippies. Then it's not hippie music, though. They might be hippies, but it's not hippie music. Whatever it is. It's alternative music. Hippies are the alternative to real people. Stop hating, dude. Alright. Past that, we got a new Crimson Ride bus... They just joined us. 348 Ride Express. I don't know where the heck they travel now. It's basically a, a drunk bus. You get drunk, you call it. Yeah. You waste our tax dollars. Uh, mm-hmm. But it could come in handy. It could save your life one day. Uh, Not mine, because I don't live on campus anymore. Save you from driving home. Um, song went off. That's okay. We'll work through it. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll be all right. all right. We'll play it again. We'll play it again. It's a good song. Yeah. But it's okay. But it's all right. It is a good um, song. We would give you the numbers for 348 Ride, but I have a keyboard phone, so I don't know what they are. Uh, so we really can't help you there. Oh, yeah. Um, can't figure it out. I, I guess 
you're just drunk. You're just drunk. Eating mushroom all night. <laughs> Anyways, the next real big event, other than the hippie parade, is a uh, football game against North Texas. The uh, Mean Green, I think that's what they're called. Yeah. I don't know if they have a mascot or not. I mean, they just know them as Mean Green. They've got an eagle in their helmet. I don't know. Um, I get eagles confused because you I never know. know. I mean, like, what's that team? They're the Tigers, but they, they have eagles. I don't know. There's something like that. Right? All Bucks? I don't know. All Garden? All Garden? No. Public service announcement. All Garden has pets. I found a whole roaches. In my cob salad. And roaches. They have roaches? They do have roaches. I draw the line at roaches. Mm. It's, it's not going down at all, Garden. Ever. Uh, I mean. uh, we're, we can take time right here to uh, give a shout out to the camera crew. We're not alone here at the Quad Report. We have uh, Magic Blanco, who's our producer, and he stays behind the scenes and does a lot of work. You might hear him from time to time. He'll and, probably uh, be in our next video. The, uh, give him a shout out. One, uh, one thing he suggested is that we do a uh, weekly movie pick. And, um, we this is this was not my movie, though. This we was thought not it was my a great idea, pick. so we let Patrick pick the movie for the first one since it was his idea. Uh, this is what he came up with. Yeah. Hannah Montana. There you go. I would have left him out confused. <laughs> it's okay. Hannah Montana, uh, I do too. the movie, is starring, starring Miley Cyrus. And of course, her dad, Billy Ray Miles Cyrus. Um, apparently, she has the best of both worlds, but she can only choose one. That means she has to leave one. So, uh, Patrick says it's a great movie. I don't know. I'm, I've never seen it. I'm going to watch it. Personally, I'm never, I'm never going to watch it. I'll watch it tonight. And you say I'm a hippie? Dude, dude. Okay. It's, it's Miles Cyrus. I don't care. There's nothing hippie about that. Young hippies. I, I don't know what to say right now. But, uh, check it out. It's a good movie. If you need to borrow it. We have it right here because we're probably not going to watch this. But, uh, I don't know. Alright. Back to, back to album football. There's this guy that did a video around June or so and he. Don B. Don B. Don B. It's like a Don B. The Don. The Don. And uh, I watched his first video, and it, I, I can't lie, it pissed me off pretty bad. It pissed me off pretty bad. But is then, this the guy with the dreads? This is the guy with the dreads. Oh, man. You know Columbine? That Columbine? Mm -hmm. I wanted to go Columbine on this guy. <laughs> oh, I was, he was talking about how Alabama fans weren't weren't talking shit or whatever. Here we are, son. We're right here. Yeah, he basically called out the entire Saban Nation. Yeah. Which, uh, you don't do that. The terrorists did that in 9-11, <laughs> which we just celebrated uh, the 8th anniversary. That's um, off to you. The terrorists did that. To the troops. Money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's not even scary, dude. I don't, I don't care. Like it because I love America. Yeah. Um, Anyways, the terrorists messed with the Saban Nation, and they got it handed to him. But he did, he did own up to his bet, eating his crow, wearing an Alabama shirt, so. That was a crow? It didn't look like crow meat. He said it wasn't crow meat. He said it was like raw bacon or something. I don't know, but he owned up to his bet. I don't know if I would have done that or not. Our song just went off again for the he, second time. He ate a crow? No, he didn't eat a crow. He calls it crow. I don't know why he calls it crow. I've never heard of that before, but he did it. And hey. Old Cowboy. What's happening, brother? Cowboy. What's happening? He used to be funny, but he just kind of fizzled out. And I saw your gay video. What the heck is that about? I haven't seen that. You I, know, I, I just came across it on his uh, little site on YouTube. What, what is that, dude? You're not gay. You're, you're Old Cowboy. I just, I just completely lost a little bit of respect for you when you made that video. I lost respect for you, cowboy, when you uh, called out Paul Feinbaum, who was actually a hero slash mentor to me. Uh, lost a lot, a lot of respect for him. Uh, but uh, well, anyway, Alabama.
Alabama, 2-0 on that ass. 2-0, baby. Still a quote from Cowboy up there in Tennessee. Uh, Shit just happens. This is college. 